We'll now focus on adding some mobile friendliness to our documentation site. Because if you could see here, I'm going to decrease the width. And as I do that, oh, well, everything's just kind of bunching up. It'd be nice if the sidebar went out of view as well as the logo went out of view. That way we could free up some room. And maybe even add a hamburger icon where the logo is currently. That way if a user clicks it, it exposes the menu and they could collapse that menu back down. But we want to give them better real estate if they're on a mobile device. To give you an example, look at Cleaver documentation. If I expand it, you can see the different breakpoints and how it utilizes the space better. If I collapse it down to here, the left sidebar went out of view as well as the logo was swapped for this hamburger icon. And if I click on that, then that exposes the menu, click here, and the menu goes away. In this video, we'll just concentrate on hiding the logo and hiding the sidebar. And let's get a little crazy this time and see if we could put this in the same view with our code. That way we can see the preview update as we're updating the code. Put that over there. And really we should just be working with the desktop sidebar and the header. So let's close these other tabs, get them out of our way. Let's work on the header first and see if we could get rid of that logo there and replace it with a hamburger icon of sorts. Our logo should be pretty easy to hide. We'll just add the hidden class to it. And then let's expose it for when the breakpoint hits medium. Save that out and let's see it update on the right. Ooh, all right, it's gone. We'll go to hero icons and let's grab a hamburger icon. Well, I hope they call it hamburger. All right, well, we call it menu. So let's grab the menu icon here, copy that SVG. And we'll paste that right where we had the to-do for add mobile friendly header. Really what that meant was swapping out the logo with that hamburger menu icon. And then we should probably drop that within a div. And then uh, cut that and then paste it back in there. And then for that div, let's add a class to that. And then at the medium width, we'll start to hide it. So we'll put medium hidden. And then for the SVG, we'll add a class as well. And we want to size it appropriately. Let's say a height of six and a width of six. Let's see what that looks like. All right, well, we see the hamburger icon right here. It does look like we need some padding though. Let's add some padding at the div level. Let's just see what happens if we add padding of six. So we added padding all around. And you know what? That actually looks pretty decent. So let's keep it like that. Right now, this hamburger icon is not clickable. We'll come back later in a different episode and we'll add some functionality so that if a user clicks on it, it'll expand that mobile menu and then they could collapse that mobile menu. We'll just keep it as is for now. And then now let's go ahead and focus on the sidebar. And really this should be pretty easy. We're just gonna hide it when the width of the window is less than medium width. We'll now go to desktop sidebar view. Actually, not even here. Let's go to the layout. So let's find default or default layout. And then for the desktop sidebar, let's add a class on that. And then we'll hide it at this level. So let's add hidden. And then once you get to medium, then we'll add flex so that it becomes visible. Oh, nice. Looking good.